two mahogany panels that are identical. I haven't faked these, these come straight out of our store. So I don't know what period they are, possibly Victorian, may even be Georgian, but more likely Victorian panels. I'm gonna wax one and leave one. So we've got a before and after. People are always asking us about our polishes and why they're so good and why we as furniture storers made them. Why did we make the polish? Well, it was for reasons I hopefully can show you live in front of the camera because other polishes really didn't cut the mustard. Not really, not with the quality of our restoration, the quality of the furniture. This is why we made our polishes, our wax polish, Gilboy's Gold was made using the best ingredients. Anyhow, I'm gonna show you how we would do it here in the workshop. I'm not gonna clean it. I'm not cleaning this first. I'm gonna go straight on with the wire wall, with the wax on it. The wire wall is gonna remove the dirt, apply the wax, we're gonna leave it for 20 minutes, come back and buff, and hopefully the evidence between the two will be quite clear. Soft wire wool, you can buy it on our website, oil-free wire wool. No petrol chemicals in it. I'm getting some antique gold, just scrubbing it into that wire wool there. Not much left in my tin, we've probably used it all up. Right, I'm going to apply it oh, straight to the panel, okay. It probably sounds worse than it is on that microphone. It probably sounds really scratchy, but it, I promise you it's not. It's soft like cotton wool. And what it does is removes the dirt. I'm not trying, I don't want to over apply, got a little bit too much there. I want a thin layer. We put so much, uh, oh, such a high con content of raw ingredients in our, on our waxes, unlike the other manufacturers. We don't skimp. There's T1 grade Carnauba wax in there. Beeswax from Buckfast Abbey, which is organically farmed. The principles they use, no pesticides in their beeswax. Miraca wax, which adds extra protective UV and hardness and resistance. Pure pine turpentine, just like the tradition he did in Georgian times. Chippendale, period, look at that. Bit one in there. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that off. A little bit too much there. There's the wax applied. There it is, the original panel. I'm gonna wait 20 minutes or so. We'll come back and buff. And we have, we should have a nice before and after and a clear evidence of why Gilboy's gold is better than the rest. Right, so we waited 20 minutes and now we go for the buff. Reminder again. Wax. When it's wax, there's a little point about waxing. When you're waxing something, it's probably quite good to do a, a small area like this, especially with our wax, because it's so rich in its content. You don't want to do a huge area and then come back and be buffing, buffing and buffing. I know it's easy to buff, but blimey, when you do a large area, you're making work for yourself. Do small areas at a time. If it's a dining table, do one leaf. A chair, just well, a single chair, don't do three chairs. Um, side of a chest of drawers. The other thing I was going to say was, actually, when you are applying wax, when you've got it nice and evenly applied, the surface will go matte. You get a sort of a satin matte sheen to the surface. You can't see any shiny areas, any areas that you've missed. It will be like a, a dull matte coating over the surface with no lumps and bumps on it because the wire wall applies it nice and evenly. Yeah. So let's, let's go for the buff. I'm going to move that to one side and maybe, I wonder if I can hold it and buff it, let's see. 
that. <laughs> it always me. <laughs> it looks great, doesn't it? I, it just, uh, it, I, I still smile because our mates, we've made such a really good wax. And we're just furniture restorers, French polishers. We know what we're doing when it comes to furniture restoration. But when it came to making wax in the first place, we didn't really know. We just thought, oh, I get the best ingredients and really go for it and start at the top rather than working at the bottom and see what we can get. And this is what you can get. Look, and there's nothing coming off on this. This is an old piece of our pure cotton uh, cloth that we use for buffing. We also use it for staining. We use it for all sorts of things. It's just brilliant stuff. Um, I haven't gone out and got a new piece. This has been in the workshop on the bench over there. And you can hear it. It just glides across the surface. That's because it's such a rich content of wax. The other reason we use this cotton, pure cotton cloth, as opposed to a duster or anything else, or a rag, is because it's got a nice open weave. If I open that up, if you can see that, there's a nice open weave to the cotton. And that open weave uh, stops the surface from getting too hot when you're buffing. Therefore, it doesn't heat the wax and doesn't get smears. And that's the reason we have this, pop, the, this cotton cloth. Because it doesn't smear the surface. It doesn't heat the surface up. You'll see me changing, turning it over as it, as it does start, it feels like it's getting warm, especially around these sort of edges here. I turn the cloth around. I over applied it there a bit. So there would have been a frame around this, this panel, this floating panel, it would have been inside a sort of fielded panel. In the middle of this there's, some, there's a mark of, or something that, I don't know, I have no idea. Look, there's your after, and there's your before. One application of Gilboy's Antique Gold and look at that. We're always doing ourselves out of a job. That's brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> it's really good. So you could, if you wanted to, apply another wax, uh, a coating of our wax on it, but not straight away, because you're just gonna dissolve into what you just put on there. Leave it for a few days. Let it go hard. Let the pure turpentine evaporate. Pure natural pine turpentine as opposed to petrochemical. No oil in there, so there's no um, nasty petrochemicals. And oil, you don't want oil going into, really going into your wood surfaces because it breaks it down. That's why we use the pine turpentine. And it's to a traditional recipe. It's for expensive stuff, but it's, it's brilliant. We'll take some photos of these and put them on our website so you can see them. But that's a genuine before and after. I have two pieces of mahogany I've just found in the container. So, you forgot. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button, I think, which is just down here somewhere, and click the, uh, the little bell for notifications. So you get notifications when we upload uh, any new videos, which we hopefully will be doing continually now with more and more videos, helpful hints and tips on furniture restoration, French polishing, colouring, anything to do with furniture repair. Hopefully over these coming sort of months and years, we'll build up lots of videos. So hit the subscribe button and hit the not notification button and also look on our YouTube channel for other videos that we've produced.
Thank you.